Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from geek.com and welcome to our latest how-to. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be upgrading a notebooks hard drive without having to reinstall the operating system or uh, completely rebuild your system. So uh, it's a seamless move to a higher capacity hard drive. So uh, as far as materials go, we have a notebook We'll be using a Panasonic Toughbook F8, but uh, using our instructions, basically you could use any Windows powered notebook. And then we also have screwdrivers. These are to get at the hard drive. You don't need screwdrivers, you know, anything will do. Then we also have a, this is a uh, USB to SATA cable. It's gonna be how we connect from the current computer with his current uh, operating system all set up to the new hard drive. We'll be using a uh, Seagate 2.5 inch SATA drive. So uh, 2.5 is the uh, standard drive size for a notebook computer. And this is a 500 gigabyte model, eight megabytes of cache, 5400 RPM rotational speed. So uh, basically our current notebook has only only has 160 gigabytes of storage in there and we're gonna be dropping in 500 gigabytes which is a really nice upgrade and uh, it's not always something that's available from the factory and if it is available from the factory then it's gonna be expensive jump. More expensive than going aftermarket and picking up something like this Seagate right here. Okay so the notebook is fired up now and the first thing we're going to do is clone our old disk. So we're going to get the 2.5 inch disk here and basically copy the contents onto the new disk. So we're going to copy the OS, the registry, the drivers, the existing programs, everything. So this means when we drop in the new hard drive, we're not going to have to reinstall Windows or anything. All we're going to have is a higher capacity hard drive with all our data on it. Uh, Basically, we're shooting for a seamless upgrade. So uh, we'll be doing this with Windows XP. The Vista would be fine too. And we're gonna be using Seagate's Disk Wizard. This is a free tool available from Seagate's support section. If you go into their support section, then download and look for Seagate Disk Wizard, it's available. So uh, basically, we're gonna get the hard drive here. nothing else in there so I don't know if you ever bought a hard drive before here it is it's all wrapped up in the uh, anti-static anti foil and uh, there you go it's a 2.5 inch SATA disk We'll be using the Seagate Momentus 5400.6. Uh, like I said, 500 gigabytes. And now this is a, our USB to SATA connection. This is about $20. It's not something most people have lying around, but it's uh, easy enough to pick up. Okay, so right now the hard disk is uh, all set up. So the basic setup is that we have uh, from the wall, we have this power connector here. And uh, as you know, this is necessary because a 2.5 inch disk, or any disk for that matter, needs external power. So this external wall connector goes to this connection here, two Molex, to the SATA power connection for the disk. Then from the disk, we have normal SATA cable through the USB to IDE or SATA converter into our computer's USB port. It's a little bit complex, but once it's set up, it's, uh, it's really not that bad. So now the next step is to go into the software. Like I said, we'll be using Seagate's Disk Wizard. Fire that up. Okay, so Seagate's disk wizard is loaded up 
and uh, you can't open up the software until the drive is recognized. That usually takes a couple seconds because the uh, Windows takes a little while to recognize it. You'll see it will pop up in, uh, in your tray that a USB device has been recognized, it's a Seagate disk, it's a disk, then it'll say it's a Seagate, uh, whatever model you have, and uh, I do say a Seagate disk because if you want to use the disk wizard according to the software, you have to have a Seagate drive. So, uh, yeah, anyway, the disk wizard is loaded up, and what we're going to want to do is, uh, I didn't use the uh, any of the suggested tools, we're going to do it manually. So we're going to go from this is the main page into disk utilities and now what we want to do is right here clone I will let me zoom in zoom in real quickly and now what we're going to do is clone a disk we're in the disk clone wizard we will press next automatic is fine and we're cloning from our 160 gigabyte C drive to the 500 gigabyte destination drive. Sounds good. Hit next. A re reboot will be required, but that's not a big deal. Proceed. Okay, so I did the reboot, like it said. And right now we're in a screen that looks like Windows installation screen, but it's actually the Seagate Disk Wizard. And uh, what it's doing right now is it's just telling us what's going on with the disk cloning operation. So it uh, checked the partition, it locked the partition, and now it is progressing with copying from hard disk 1, that's inside here, to hard disk 2, which is our external disk which will be our upgrade disk so uh, in the time that I've been talking which is about 40 seconds we are 5% okay tuning back into the installation or sorry the cloning uh, we just hit 100% and now uh, everything is running through so congratulations thanks for using Seagate's disk wizard you have successfully completed the hard disk Cloning procedure. Now it's basically saying that we need to move the clone disk into the booting position. So we're going to move it into the spot as our primary hard drive. Hit enter, or any button rather, to shut down the computer. And now it is time for the hardware part of the swap. So we're going to remove the power connection. Disconnect the computer, a uh, computer from the USB connection. Remove the connectors from the disk, and now onto the hard drive. This is going to vary. It's going to be different for every for every ladder. It's pretty easy. And remove the screw here. Like I said, I already moved, removed two screws, so this uh, will just take a second. Okay, so I removed the cover on the hard drive, and I just want to do a quick zoom in so people could see what it looks like in there. There it goes, and I will start to swap like this. really simple. It's going to vary depending on what hard drive, but basically you have a SATA connection, whatever the hard drive is cased in, and then uh, that's really it. So here, there's the drive. We're going to remove the connection and power. You should be really careful right there. Now put the new drive in, make sure it's facing in the right direction, the slide right in, and now we have your case for the hard drive, and uh, yeah, you need to make sure this goes in the right way. 
So uh, most hard drives you'll have to screw back into place. With the uh, Toughbook F8, you just have this this padded envelope, which uh, I'll try to get a better shot of. There you go. And so the connection's made. It's secure. Drop it in place. Get the hard drive cover. Put that in place. I'll do the rest of the screws later. This is uh, this will be good for now. Batteries back in. Open the computer. And let's boot up. See what happens. Okay, the computer booted up just like it normally would. And uh, we're at our Windows login screen. Just like we'd like to see. I put in the password. Let's move forward. And Windows is loaded up, just like it should be. So far, everything looks really positive. Let's see if we can't center that. There you go. Let's uh, get rid of all this junk that's been going on. And really, the only thing we have to do is navigate to our hard drive. C drive, just like it should be. Go to Properties. And we'll get in nice and close. Yeah, hopefully everyone can see that. So basically what you see now is that we have a 500 gigabyte disk in there as opposed to our old 160 gigabyte disk. So uh, yeah, free space, 454 gigabytes. So that's a whole lot of extra space to uh, carry around your music or videos or all those PowerPoint presentations. So yeah, this was a seamless hard drive upgrade from our stock disk to a 500 gigabyte Seagate Momentus 5400.6 using Seagate's Disk Wizard to clone the disk. So this is Sal Congeloso. Thanks for watching and check back on geek.com for more articles and video how-tos.